Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the shop and looking at the new cars. We have two new cars and one that is $17 million. And that means I'm going to have around $10 million left. So I'm going to have to get back to grinding. But let's start off with the Star Hunter. At stock, it has a horsepower of 298 and a score of 346. And looking in the shop, you can see that they have changed the lighting in here. So the cars look even more realistic. And there's also new lighting in the garage. And now let's upgrade it and check out the customizations. The customizations on this car are really good and they actually look like they're fitted to the car instead of like the other cars where some of them don't even fit onto the cars. And at max it has a score of 1146 and a horsepower of 1303. And this car is able to get around 300 miles per hour. And now with that I guess it's just time to buy the Hyper 1. From the trailer of this they had the mirrors at the top but it seems like they changed it down to the bottom. And here we go. And this is the first car which has multiple seats, but you actually sit in the middle. And now let's upgrade it and check out the customizations. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, this is really bad. Under 20 million. Ooh, no. I barely have over 10 million now. And here are the customizations for it. And as you can see here, they still allow you to put them up there if you want to.
and there isn't many customizations with this. And at max, it has a score of 1,432 and a horsepower of 1,303. And expected for a car that's 40 million. No, no, it's bad. It goes like 350 miles per hour. This is not worth it. It's just a car to flex on people. But is 40 million really worth it to flex on people with? I don't even know. And with that, we have new weekly challenges. We have a new car, the LRC Extreme, which is LRC, which just came out, but in an extreme version. The car came back and it seems like we're getting a rerun of stuff. Because I think Rainbow, I already have Rainbow, and I'm i pretty sure I have Flat Polygon, so I guess we're going to have to see what happens when I collect these, if anything happens. But before that, I'm going to head to Japan and show you all of the barn finds there. For the very first barn in the bottom left of the map, head to this race right here around Japan, and the barn is right here. And now for the next barn at the very bottom of the map, head over to this race right here, Hurricane Circuit. And you'll see the barn right over here. Now for the next one, head over to this food delivery spot over here. And you can see the barn out in the open over here. And if someone else breaks it right before you, you just wait and it'll spawn back. Now on to the next one, head over to this place right here, Takashi Dirt Circuit. And there is the barn. And for the last and final barn, head over to this food delivery spot right here. And going through these trees, you'll see the very last barn. And you'll be given the car again. Now, heading on to the other changes, heading into the customization area, you can see that they changed the name of the paint area to visuals and put the exhaust effects and the underglow here, which is a brand new game pass for 199 Robux. And I don't have enough Robux for this, so I'm not going to be buying it, but it's basically just a color under your car that you can choose if you want that. And for another update, if we finish this race real quick. You can see that they have updated this and added your avatar to the right side of the screen. So whoever finishes first gets their avatar shown here and it shows the car in the background. And heading over to the homeowners association area, you can see if you go over to one of the garages, they actually work now. And as you can see, all of them have a working garage. And for a small change, if you head over to Drive World Customs, you can see that they changed the NPCs over here and also in the dealership. And with that being said, let's grind these weekly challenges and check out this new LRC Extreme. And there we go, we have fully finished all the weekly challenges, and now let's collect them. And looking at the exhaust effects, you can see that the rainbow is actually a backfire effect instead of a nitrous effect. 
So now you can have both of these on the same car. And I think this is a new wrap and this is what it looks like in a white color. It looks pretty nice in the yellow color as well. And here is the LRC Extreme. It has a score of 846 and a horsepower of 819. And now let's upgrade it and check out the customizations. Oh, that doesn't seem to work. So it seems like the spoilers are currently broken. And at max, it has a score of 1,531 and a score of 1,547. And it's able to get around 330 miles per hour. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.